Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and we are on day 61. And today's class will be a core work with some ab focus and different core muscles. So sitting up nice and tall. Take a moment to bring your hands together in front of your heart and set an intention for your practice. And all intentions are always welcome. Maybe a word, maybe a mantra like I am strong or I am awesome, anything. And then I'm going to come onto my back. I have a yoga strap and you could use a yoga strap if you don't have one. Just hug your knees in and rock side to side. If you don't have a yoga strap, grab a towel. So you can push pause and grab something. Keep your right knee hugging in. Extend the left leg out. Circle the right ankle in one direction and reverse it. Reach the right leg up and just stretch out the hamstrings. Just another breath here. Try and straighten the knee if you can, even if you're not bringing the leg in towards your chest, that's fine. Then hug the knee in and let it go. Hug the left knee in, circle the left ankle one direction, and reverse it. And lift the left leg up. You can hold on behind the thigh or down by the foot. Keep the right leg active too, so point your right toes up to the ceiling. So again, stretch out the hamstrings here. That's one more breath. And then Hug the knee and extend it out. So I'm going to reach for my strap. And if you have a yoga strap, you're just going to fold it into about four. So it's so folded about a quarter of the way and then fold it again and then fold it again. So when you hold it in your hands, it's about the size of your shoulders. It's going to lie onto the back, holding that strap, reaching the arms forward. Bring your right knee into your chest. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor, lift your left knee off the floor, and then extend that right leg up and then bring it through. Bring your left knee in towards your chest, then bring the left leg all the way up through that strap and extend it up. Right knee in, extend the right leg up and out. Left knee in, reach it up and out. We're just going to go back and forth a few times. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you're taking the knee in and then extending the leg up, bending the knee. So you really have to use your hip flexor muscles as well as the abs. Now, if your head or if your neck gets tired, you can always bring your head down. Okay, bring the head down and rest for a moment. And then we're going to do both legs. So bring both legs up and then extend them out. Bring your arms in line with your ears. Bring the knees in, feet through, lift them up. Bring the feet back, arms in line with ears. Bring the feet through, lift the legs up. Bring the feet back through, pull the belly in. Bring the legs through, lift them up, and extend them forward, arms in line, in line with the ears. Keep going here. Keep your belly lifted as you do these movements so you can Exhale as you extend everything out. Inhale as you bring the legs up and through the strap. Feel free to take the head down to the floor, especially if your neck bothers you. Otherwise, keep the head and shoulders lifted as much as you can comfortably. And then hug the knees in and rest a moment. We'll take that strap off to the side and stretch out the front of the body with a nice bridge. Lift up into bridge and then lower down. And then inhale, lift, this time stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift, palms facing each other. Exhale and lower. Inhale to lift up, reach the arms, face the palms toward each other. Exhale and lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And get that strap again and do that same one. So you're going to bring the knees in, lift the legs up, 
extend the legs out. So if you don't extend the legs out, so just keep going. If you don't extend the legs out very much, keep them up high, it's easier. It's also easier if you keep your head and shoulders down instead of lifted. So you choose, take care of your back. Keep pressing the lower back lightly into the floor. Not hard, but we wanna keep some connection there so the low back doesn't hurt. If it does, bring your hands under your hips instead and just move the legs. Lifting up and bringing through and then holding and releasing. Strap off to the side and then again bridge pose, pressing up and then lowering down. Inhale up, reach the arms overhead, exhale, lower down slowly. Inhale and stretch and exhale to lower. Inhale and lift, stretching out, exhale, lower down. Inhale, stretch, exhale and lower. And inhale to come up, step your feet together then extend your right leg forward, but keeping your knees in line with each other. So you're keeping the left heel pressing down, keeping the hips lifted. And then lift that leg up, exhale, bring it down halfway. Inhale up, exhale, lower it. Inhale up, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it, exhale, set it all the way down. And left leg forward, knees in line with each other. Keeping the chin away from the chest. We're gonna do all kinds of little movements like this today where we go back and forth, up and down, lift up and lower, lift up and lower. Lift, keep the hips lifted and halfway down. Lift the leg and bring it halfway down, lift, and then lower the foot all the way to the floor. We're still in bridge, lifting, breathing into the chest, keeping the neck long, and then lowering down. Hug your knees in. I'm just rocking here a little bit. And then roll yourself up. So we're going to come right onto your right side with your left leg up. And you can have your head resting down or you can prop it up with your elbow down. Lifting the leg up and lowering. So we're just going to lift and lower the left leg. Not going to bring it all the way down. Now lead with the heel as you come up and try to lead with the toe as you come down. Lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. Just a nice steady pace, lifting and lowering. Now keep it up and the little pulses up. So pulse up and up and up. So you're not moving the leg very much. It's just little pulses up and up and up. Then keep that leg up and you're gonna lift the bottom leg, little pulses on the bottom leg. Lift it up and up and up. So if you were going to try to lift it all the way to the other leg, but of course it won't lift and we're strengthening the inner thigh here. Keep lifting up and up and up, just a few more. And then release it down. We'll switch sides onto the left hip. So you can prop up your head or you can lay your head on your arm. Let the right leg up and down. So just lifting and lowering. Keep your hips stable. Keep your torso stable. Now lead with the heel on the way up. Lead with the toes on the way down. Lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. If it's hard to balance, bring your right leg a little bit forward. I'm sorry, your left leg a little bit forward. The bottom leg. Lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. And then stay up and pulse. Just little pulses up and up and up. And now keep the bottom leg up and you're lifting it up toward the top leg. Just little lifts, little lifts. Like you were gonna touch that top leg. Little pulses up, inner thighs getting stronger. Lifting and lifting and lifting and then Release, I'm gonna come back onto the right side. To the right side, I'm gonna take the left hand to the hip, I'm gonna lift up and lower. So I'm lifting the legs. My legs are about a 30 degree angle forward. So lifting, so I'm getting into the side of my hip and little side obliques. Lifting, lowering, lifting and lowering. Feet are together, try not to bounce all around. Lift, lower, lift and lower. Lifting, lowering, lifting, and lowering. 
Releasing that. Now top leg up and make big circles. So I'm just making big circles with my left leg. So nice big circles. I've got my head propped up this time. You can either keep yours propped up or lie down. And then pause and circle the other way. Big circles. Just big, big circles. Now little tiny circles. So get up and toward the top and make littler circles. And littler circles. Try to keep, and then little circles the other way. Oh, big circles the other way. Sorry, big circles first the other way. So we want to try and keep the torso from flopping all around and the hips from flopping and the legs from flopping. We want to keep the body really, really steady here as we make our circles. Big circles. And then up at the top, little circles. So keep the leg up and make your circle smaller. Just little ones. And we'll release, bring that knee forward, stretch out the hip a little. And switching to the other side. So the leg's a little in front, about a 30 degree angle, and you lift and lower, lifting and lowering. So you're lifting the legs, you're lifting the head, as if you were gonna touch your head towards your hip and your feet towards your hip. Lifting and lowering, so getting into the side body. Continue on, keep your breath nice and steady. And then we're just gonna do our leg lifts on this side, or leg circles, sorry. So lift the top leg, make some circles. Just either direction, nice big circles. And then stay up and start making those little circles again. So little circles with the foot, moving that leg. Should start to feel this one if you haven't already. Now start to make the big circles again going the other direction. Continue in your steady breath. Then stay up and start making your little circles. Continuing little circles. Then bring that knee forward, little twist, little stretch of the hip. And then make your way up. Hands and knees, inhale. Heart forward, lift the chin and tailbone up. Exhale, round the back, chin toward chest. So we're just gonna move through a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale to round. Now, extending your right leg back with the knee bent, just little pulses up. These little pulses going to get into the hip a little. Keep the outer hip drawing down on the right side and the left hip drawing in. And we'll release that. Left leg up, knee is bent, and little pulses up like you're pressing your foot all the way to the ceiling. So again, you're going to work the glute to little bits and the back of the thigh. Just these little pulses. And then release it. Walk your hands forward about a handprint. Tuck your toes. Make your way into downward dog. And then just start to bicycle your legs. Bending one knee and the other. Stretching the chest back toward the thighs, arms, and ears in line. Spread your fingers. Press into the base of the fingers. Right leg up and then bend the knee. Little pulses again. So again, just lift it up and up and up. Keep the right outer hip dropping down though and the left hip pressing in as you make your little pulses. And then bring it forward, step it all the way through, left knee to the floor, right knee over the ankle, inhale, reach into low lunge. Pull the right hip back, 
Sink your hips forward. Keep the belly lifted, tailbone's lengthening. Knee stays over the ankle. Then tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up and set it down. So you're gonna keep going, interlacing the fingers in front of the knee on the front knee, lifting and lowering. So you just lift it enough to hover and then five more with the arms up or keep the hands down. Three, two, and one. Set it down, Oop, last one. Hands to the mat, step to plank, chaturanga, all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, inhale, little cobra. Pull the hands toward the feet, bring the chest through. Tuck the toes, press up to plank. Knees can stay down for that. Lift the hips, down dog. Left leg up, bend the knee, and little pulses. So just little pulses again with the knee bend, just little lifts up and up and up. Then lifting and lowering, keep the breath nice and steady. Good, and then step it all the way up. And take the back knee to the floor, knee over the ankle, and sink your hips. Pull the left hip back. Reaching up nice and tall. Then interlace the fingers, tuck the back toes, hover the back knee off the floor, and lower. So lifting and lowering. Make sure the left knee stays over the ankle. Lifting and lowering. Lift and lower. Arms up or not, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift up, set it down, and then bring the hands to the mat. Step back, chaturanga. All the way to the floor, inhale, cobra. You can do a low cobra or a high one. Pubic bones pressing down, tailbones reaching to heels, inner thighs lift up toward the ceiling. And then lower, tuck the toes, press up to plank. Knees can be down for that and then lift the hips for downward dog. Stretching all the way back, and lengthening through the spine. Remember, child's pose anytime, push pause if you want to. Look up, inhale, step the feet or hop them. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, press through your feet, come all the way up, look up, and exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, and step to plank, lowering slowly for five, four, three. Shoulders no lower than elbows, just holding there. Knees can be down here. And then all the way to the floor. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Inhale, Shalabhasana, lift up. Inner thighs are spinning up. Crown of the head reaches forward. Keep the back of your neck long. Breathing here into the chest. And then hands by the rib cage. Inhale, press up to plank. Knees can stay down for that. Exhale, lift the hips, down dog. Breathing here. And step or hop forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale to fold. Pressing down, inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale hands to the heart. Inhale, circle your arms up and exhale, folding in. Inhale, lengthen, looking up and exhale to plank. Shift forward, again lowering slowly for five, four, three, two, shoulders no lower than elbows, holding there. Knees can be down and all the way down. Interlace your fingers, other pinky on top. Inhale, lift everything up, Shalambhasana. Tailbones reach into the heels. Pubic bone, bone presses down, so your hip points are lifting towards your lower ribs. Keep the back of your neck long. Breathing. And then lower. Hands by the ribs. Inhale, press up to plank. And exhale, down dog. Knees can stay down for that. I think I said that before. <laughs> so stretch all the way back. Right leg up, inhale, exhale, and bring your leg forward, shoulders over the wrist. Try to hold yourself here, drawing your thigh in toward your belly and your heel up toward your hip. Breathing, and then step it all the way through. Spin the back heel flat into warrior two. Line up your knee over your ankle and point it over your second toe. 
Gaze over the fingertips, press your back thigh back, dropping the left arm reverse. Exhale, bend to your right knee. Inhale, come up, straightening the front leg. Take your toes out a little, heels in, drop your tailbone down into a high squat. Lift the arms up and we're just gonna hold this. So you're dropping the tailbone down, lifting your hip points up, and pressing your knees back all at the same time. Stretching up nice and tall. Give those quads some work. Just slowly straighten the knees and then bend the knees again. Bring yourself halfway forward, arms out to a T and start to just gently rock side to side. So you're about a 90 degree angle with your torso. And gently rocking here side to side with the arms out. Just back and forth and back and forth. And then walk it forward. Chaturanga. Inhaling into up dog or cobra. And exhaling back into downward dog. Left leg up, inhale, step it right, or actually hold it up first. Press your shoulders above your wrists, rounding the upper back a little. Heel is lifting up toward your hip and the thigh toward the belly. Gazing slightly forward. And then step it up right in the middle of the hands. Back foot is flat. Warrior two, come on up. Line up your left knee in line with your second toe. Drop your tailbone down, your front left hip down. Gaze over the fingertips. Press your back thigh back. Reverse your warrior. Rebend into your left knee. As you inhale, come up. Straightening the leg. Point your toes out a little. Heels in. And again, dropping the hips down. Reach up through the arms. Spin your triceps forward. Belly is pulling in quite strongly here as you drop your tailbone and lift your hip points up and then press your knees back. So the knees are going to want to drift in toward each other. Try not to let them. It's like a little, it's a little dance between pressing the knees back, dropping the tailbone down, and lifting the hip points up. All of that. Slowly straighten the legs. Then re-bend them. Hinge forward from the hips and rocking here side to side. So you want your shoulders about in the same line as the hips if you can. And just a gentle rock from side to side. Keep the outer hips, inner thighs. Drawing in, almost done. Good job, keep with it just a little longer. And then bring your hands to the front of the mat, step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, making your way into down dog. Feel free to take a break, push pause if you like. Stretch your chest back toward the thighs, heels are reaching down, inhale, plank pose, top of a push up. Lower all the way to the floor. Arms in line with the ears. Inhale, we're gonna lift into Shalabhasana Locust Pose so we can tone those back muscles. Inner thighs are spinning up, arms and ears in line. Back of your neck stays long. Stretch through the whole front of your body. Reaching fingertips forward, reaching feet back. Breathing here. Just a few more breaths. And lower and rest. Take a little break. And then again, reach everything forward with the arms. Stretch to the legs, inner thighs spinning up. Tailbones lengthening toward the heels and your hip points are pressing toward the low ribs. Keep breathing into the chest, just a couple breaths. Really working the back muscles and lower. And then again, 
one more time. Either stay with that same pose or swim the arms back and reach for the feet into Dhanurasana. So if you're in Dhanurasana, you're gonna lift the legs up and press the feet back. Keep your belly lifted. Keep the hip points lifting up. I know it's hard to, but keep lifting the legs up to work the muscles in the backs of the thighs. And slowly release it down. Hands by the ribs. Inhale to press up. Exhale back into down dog. Stretch all the way back. Get some length again. And then step or hop through to sit. Extend your legs. Bring your hands uh, behind you. Fingertips face forward. Press up into reverse table. Try and press your feet flat into the floor. If this is too much, do the same thing with your knees bent instead. Pressing all the way up and lengthening the whole front of your body. This is a great stretch for the shoulders too. And then lower down. Sitting up nice and tall in Dandasana. This pose is a very strengthening pose. Same thing, knees can be bent like that or extend the legs forward and lift up again into reverse table, Porzvottanasana. So let the head go back any amount. Your inner thighs are spinning down toward the floor. Tailbone still reaching toward the heels. Press the feet into the floor if you can and just keep lifting, lifting, lifting. And lower down. Dandasana, staff pose, sit up tall. Flex your ankles. And inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale to come forward. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale to extend into Hashimotanasana. Forward folding. Then we hinge from the hips as we move into this pose. Make sure there's no tension around your ears, up around the neck. Crown of your head is reaching forward toward the feet. So you're getting as much length as you can. Inhale is head up. Exhale, release. Bend your right knee. Bring your right hand behind you. Lift your left arm up on the inhale and exhale to twist. As you inhale, sit up nice and tall to lengthen. As you exhale, roll your right shoulder back and twist. We're giving the spine some nice movement here as we cool ourselves down. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, unwind. Straighten the right leg. Bend the left. Left hand behind. Right arm up on the inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, take it across and twist. As you inhale, sitting up, sit up tall. As you exhale, roll the left shoulder back. Flexing the right ankle, make sure the toes point up. Head to center, unwinding. Soles of feet together, knees apart. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, and hinge from the hips forward. So again, you're getting length through the spine. We're not rounding it here. So you might not go very forward. It doesn't matter how far you go as long as you feel a stretch. Inhale and come up. Exhale, rounding down your forehead toward your feet. Now we'll round the back. Get a nice Stretch in the low back. Inhaling up, take your knees up, come onto your back. And bring your right ankle just above your left knee and then bring your hands through to hold the left shin for thread the needle. Make sure your right ankle stays flexed. Your left ankle can stay flexed too. You're welcome to stay with that or extend the left leg, maybe reaching down closer toward your foot. That'll just take your, your stretch in the hip a little bit deeper. I'm gonna try to, and then let's release that and we'll switch sides. Left ankle just past the right knee. Bring your hands through to hold the right shin or behind the thigh. I'm gonna try to move that left hip a little bit forward toward the front of the mat and the left knee away from your belly. And stay with that or lift up. Stretching out the leg any amount, reaching maybe closer toward the foot. 
or not. You can always keep the, the hands at the back of the thigh as well. Release. Hug the knees in. Take the pinky toe sides of your feet. Nice, happy baby. Gently rock from side to side as you reach your tailbone down. And then maybe extend the legs out to the sides to stretch them out. You can hold your feet or your legs or your toes. Whatever you can reach. And let's release that. And we're going to make our way into Shavasana. So take a few moments here to really make yourself nice and comfortable. And then, as always, once you're comfortable, allow yourself to just relax. Let everything be nice and heavy. And letting everything relax. As you're settling in, our quote again from The Four Agreements. It's a wonderful book by Don Miguel Ruiz. And now it is the fourth agreement. So we've made it to the fourth agreement. The fourth agreement says, always do your best. He says, your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. It's always important the way we talk to ourselves. If we wouldn't say it to our best friend, we're not allowed to say that to ourselves. So I'll let you relax. Start to reawaken your body. Take a long breath as you reach through your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms through and your legs. Bend your knees, roll to your right. Just pausing a moment here for gratitude. Gratitude for all of our blessings. So a yoga practice without gratitude is incomplete. It's so making our way up. Cross your shins, sit up nice and tall, or take a comfortable seated position, hands to heart. Let's bring our hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Our hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And our hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Sending out this wonderful energy we created to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. Don't forget to check out Tina at Pink Rose Healing. She is my friend. She is awesome. She is amazing. I'm going to put her email address below and you can ask her your questions. And uh, push the like button if you liked our class and share it and comment and subscribe. Please, please, please. If you can donate any amount, please, there's a link below. Any amount at all is very, very helpful for us. We want to try and keep making videos so we can get free yoga to as many people as we possibly, possibly can. That's our mission. Go to fightmasteryoga.com. If you shop on Amazon, there's a link there. It doesn't cost you anything extra to go through our link, but it also is a way to support our mission. I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Love you guys. Bye.